Oi, eu sou o Lucas e bem-vindo a mais um vídeo aqui do canal. No vídeo de hoje nós vamos conversar com a Rachel de A 5 Passos de Você. A gente foi até a Bienal entrevistar a autora e ficou super legal. Não se esqueçam de ativar aqui embaixo a legenda e é isso. Espero que vocês gostem. Oi, eu sou o Lucas. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, I have some questions for you. Uh, the, the first one, uh, how is going your experience here in, in Brazil? Oh my goodness, I've had such an amazing time so far. I think the Biennale is amazing. The people are so, so lovely. It's been so great meeting people and getting to talk to them and take pictures and all of that. It's just so great. I'm so glad that I'm here. I think we are great, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would agree. Yeah. <laughs> uh, about your book, Five Feet Apart, yeah. uh, how was the process of working and creating this story? Yeah, it was a really interesting process. It was definitely really tough because I collaborated with the screenplay writers of the movie. Um, but yeah, it was a really great process. I think we worked really well together. Uh, it was interesting to kind of um, be able to uh, be part of a screenplay um, and be part of a book um, that was all about raising awareness about cystic fibrosis. And it was really difficult um, because we really wanted to portray cystic fibrosis accurately and really be respectful of the individuals that have it. So it was really important for us to do a lot of research and just make sure that we were being uh, as honest to the experience as we could be. So it was really great. Uh, how was seeing the, the story in the big, big screen? Oh my goodness, I cried. Before the even movie even started, I was crying. Uh, yeah, it was just a mess. But it was so interesting because I had lived with these characters for so long. Uh, I had spent time just like picturing these scenes in my head and just imagining it and getting it all down on paper and then to actually go into a theater and see it all playing out in front of me it was just, it was a really wild experience. Yeah, it was really cool. In your version, the story ends with an epil epilogue. Uh, but this thing is not in the movie. Can you tell something about it? Why yeah. this is <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. That wasn't, um, I didn't have any say in that. Uh, I think it was just their artistic decision. I think maybe they just wanted to have more of a finite ending. Um, there wasn't any room for question. Um, and yeah, I think it just worked well with the film. And that was the direction that they decided to go in. So it was really interesting. Yeah. You are already working in another book all this time, right? And can you tell something about it? Yeah, I can definitely talk a little bit about that. Um, all this time, I'm working with uh, Mickey Daughtry, who is one of the screenplay writers of Five Feet Apart. So I'm working with her. This is kind of her heart project. This is a story that she's wanted to write for 20-some years and kind of get out in the world. Um, she, uh, So we're working together. She's writing the screenplay, and I'm writing uh, the book. And we're kind of collaborating on that uh, to bring it into, you know, book, young adult book form. Uh, but it's a really beautiful story. Um, and it's tragic and heartbreaking as well. Uh, it's about this boy named Kyle who, uh, on the night of his graduation, uh, gets into a car accident and his girlfriend dies. And it's about him kind of going through the grieving process and learning to love and growing. And um, it's a really beautiful story. And I'm really excited for it, definitely. So it's going to be another movie? Um, I don't know just yet. Probably nothing yet. Nothing yet. <laughs> uh, your first book was a huge success here yeah. in Brazil. So to finish, can you give a message to your fans? Oh my goodness, absolutely. I am so grateful uh, to all of them, to all of my readers. I can't believe it. Uh, it's yeah. insane that I'm here, and it's insane that I get to meet some of some of my readers here at the Biennale. I am so grateful for that. Uh, their appreciation for the book and the messages that I receive uh, has just meant so much to me. So I'm just blown away and I love them all so much. <laughs> Thank you very much and I hope to see you soon here for the next book. So see you. Yeah, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. <laughs> Thank you. Então, essa foi a entrevista. Eu espero que vocês tenham gostado. Se você gostou, não se esqueça de deixar o seu joinha aqui embaixo, se inscrever aqui no canal se você ainda não é inscrito e, claro, me comenta aqui se você já leu esse livro, se você gostou, se você gostou do filme e o que você está esperando para o próximo livro dela. E é isso. Nos vemos no próximo vídeo. Tchau!